this is a really old videotape. Uh, one of the first, uh, I think it actually is the first ever Asterix video from the 60s, I think. I don't know when it's from, but it's a pretty old tape. And I'm kind of like orgasming nostalgia or something. my old bed. Not much to see here. Um, the air conditioner, which is not necessary in the middle of December. An old dirty bike that doesn't work anymore that I might have used like four or five years ago. Um, and the dirt on the floor and the need to paint. I was looking through my old stuff and I still have the original uh, newspapers that came out when there was uh, the terrorist attack on September 11th I have them here with me and I've been saving them for this is a local paper well, this is from the 12th September 12th of 2001 so it's the day the first time it was in the in the papers so here the title says uh, des milliers de morts which means uh, thousands of dead people and basically the entire uh, paper is dedicated to this. Um, I think this might be the wrong page on oh, this. The, the whole paper, like even the sports section where they're supposed to talk about the, the Canadians, it's um, the only thing they're talking about is, is this, you know? says in Washington they're talking about a second Pearl Harbor um, frankly I think this might have been a little bit worse than Pearl Harbor when you know it's when you're Pearl Harbor is like an act of war you know attacking a military thing while well, this was attacking civilians anyway uh, this was I think um, I'm not sure if this was a real video um, yeah the manifestations of joy and satisfaction were recorded in the Middle East, particularly among Palestinians. And here it says it was in a refugee camp of Shadala in Beirut that people were basically celebrating uh, for the uh, the attacks. And I, I think this 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 thing might have been a hoax uh, that we found out sometime later. I'm not really sure, for example, this one, uh, yeah, here it says, uh, that they were giving candies, uh, she is about to eat candies as a gift from a salesman in Jerusalem to celebrate the attacks, um, which, May or may not be true. I don't know, but I think I think these two pictures were were shown as hoaxes. But whatever. Here it says uh, they're suspecting it was Osama bin Laden. At that point, we weren't really sure yet. It was still kind of in the dark. Here's George Bush, back when he was young. He's an old geezer now, and uh, yeah, he says he's going to punish the culprits. This was the ancient Prime Minister Landry in, in Quebec. And, uh, yeah, what, ha what was happening was that uh, a, a group in, in Quebec was planning a, um, some kind of an, an event in New York in that morning. And the event is like kind of a scientific event, and what it would have been uh, right in front or inside of the World Trade Center and obviously it was cancelled but um, yeah now everything was going nuts Montreal hotels were, were full uh, yeah because the airplanes were uh, redirected 
uh, to many places, uh, including Montreal, so they had to make them sleep somewhere. It says someone called 911 saying uh, our plane's been hijacked, this isn't a hoax. It says a horror movie, like one of the planes, number 93, crashed. Uh, Yeah, in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Montreal people are escaping their office towers. This is the tallest building in Montreal, right near the, the Molson Center. There's a huge skating rink uh, not far. What well, this is? Oh yeah. There. They're transporting the injured people. Yeah, there, there's nothing really other than that in the papers, which probably isn't too surprising, but it's kind of rare. Uh, I don't know if there are many events ever that would essentially fill out an entire newspaper, of course, except for, for the ads, you know, you can ads are always more more important than well uh, see but um, yeah it's like I can't remember anything you know bigger than that as far as news media was concerned uh, that's pretty much it and what was happening at that point was um, uh, Saku Koivu who was one of the players in, in the Canadians and he um, I think that that day, 9/11 uh, was pretty much around the time when we found out he had a, a cancer. And so the last pages in the newspaper is about sports. You know, here it's Tiger Woods, and they're talking about this thing. And here was one of the regular journalists, sport journalists, and he's talking about the attacks. This was the uh, other goaltender brother who was. You know, he's talking about one of his friends who was in, in the tower. This is another sports journalist, and he's talking about, you know, the attack. And it's like, even Ron Hainsey is talking about it. And this was Craig Darby, another ancient player from the Middle Ages. This is Carl Dykus, um an ancient uh, player. So, yeah, like, even the sports section... Um, it, it's it's really all about that, so it's not really. Yeah, here there's one little thing about uh, Saku Koivu's cancer. Here it says, uh, yeah, we know he doesn't have Hodgkins, but yeah, we already knew he had a cancer. We didn't know what kind it was. Yeah. yeah was some time ago. And uh, I have also the paper from the following day. It was September the 13th. I don't have the, the one from the 11th. I, I think I must have thrown it away. But I remember and the, the newspaper from September 11th. Obviously they weren't talking about the attacks. And the paper came out, well, was printed the day before, but I remember there was actually an article about Osama bin Laden, uh, and, and they were looking for him and stuff like that. It was actually kind of creepy that th there was an article about bin Laden and the edition of the paper before, uh, here 55 pages in the paper. And, and see, this isn't really a very thick paper, and we've got 55 pages on, on, on something that happened the previous day. I don't think there was, yeah, I don't think there really was much talk about anything else. These are hundreds of Canadians. Yeah, the title is uh, America is Counting Its uh, Debts. So, it was, it says it's a carnage. And everything just pretty much went up to high hell. 
after that, you know. And we were wondering how many people that we're going to find dead in, uh, in the ruins. Here, Giuliani is saying it would take a couple of weeks. Everybody's, yeah, they're interrogating people like who knew Bin Laden or something to, to find out like where he is or you know what, what he's doing, whatever, so that they could get him. Here they were wondering if uh, the terrorists who uh, uh, who made the attack. Uh, actually went through Montreal and some people were thinking that they might have been Montreal people kind of involved in uh, uh, in the attacks I don't know specifically what they mean maybe they think like someone might have helped them like get through the customs or I don't know this is uh the hotel in Boston. Oh yeah, yeah, it's probably yeah, cause I think some of the planes went from Boston, and the FBI was uh, looking through the the plane, uh, the the hotel I think where the terrorists uh, were were staying. Here it says a uh, a monumental battle of good versus evil, and George Bush cries for vengeance. And this was uh, Jean Chrétien, uh, the ancient uh, prime minister. It says the heart of New York is worse than the heart zone. It's a worse destruction than Beirut and Sarajevo. Let's see, let's say the United States uh, has a hard time getting back on its feet. It's kind of creepy when you wonder how many people were actually happy reading that paper. kind of makes you scared a bit. Anyway, these people putting flowers, I think all over the world, and they're having like little monuments. Here they're talking about, you know, people um, who were actually calling from the planes. Yeah, that's actually pretty prophetic. Prophetic, they're saying, um, you know, it's going to be different flying from now on. You know, people are going to be more checked and. You know, so, well, I, I think that was kind of pretty much obvious after, after what happened. Here it's saying uh, the, the Russians and Castro and Arafat, and they were all, like, extending their hands to the United States. Uh, people giving blood. And this is uh, Bruno's homeless Santa. That is... They're saying he, like he was hiding in a, a secret uh, thing in Afghanistan. So Bin Laden thanked God after the uh, the attacks because he was a really rich guy, you know. And so here they're saying like he had a huge uh, terrorist network that like because he had a lot of money he could finance like a whole bunch of stuff. And then everybody's going crazy, like a suspect package, you know, had a evacuation pure later. That's actually pretty bad. Yeah, no religious community should be treated suspect. Yeah, it says um, Muslim Americans were worried about, uh, you know, vengeance against them. Like repercussions on on them because the, the terrorists were, were Muslims. Here, uh, Arabs in Montreal, uh, victims of racism. Uh, three Muslims were had been beaten up. It says uh, three Muslim teenagers were beaten by uh, about ten young guys in uh, Montreal High School, uh, which is kind of funny because actually. You know, Arabs are like here. They're, they're saying Arabs are victims of racist uh, uh, things, but Arabs are actually a very um, small race. There, there aren't that many Arabs, and I, I think actually most Muslims aren't Arabs. I think most Muslims 
are black or, or Asian. So it's kind of we tend to associate, you know, Muslim and Arab, but that's not necessarily, you know, all that accurate. He says we have the impression that the terrorists, uh, you know, stole our, our security. Since people around the world were psychologically uh, affected. He says uh, the suspects uh, had uh, taken uh, piloting uh, classes in Florida. The Montreal firefighters uh, ready to help the New York guys. It's a pretty crazy thing. I, I don't really believe the world was talking about anything else. Here, Israel, in uh, uh, day means like they were mourning. Uh, yeah, the ancient wall of uh, the Temple of uh, Solomon there. And, you know, it was everybody was like going nuts. Yeah, no, it's a business uh, papers and everybody's like really worried. And here's a Canadian dollar. It was at 64.07 cents US. It's a pretty long time ago and all uh, the thingies there were closed. Which is uh, pretty messed up. Yeah, it was a pretty scary thing. American newspaper, they want more paper delivery. Apparently, yeah, of course, after stuff like that, you print so much paper, you, you kind of run out. And now, finally, you have some pages talking about other stuff. Because it would have been a little bit, I mean, you know, there's other news happening, even though, yeah, that was the biggest one, but, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to be going to sleep now.